definitely sad to see that museum yeah. shut its we doors. We still have to preserve relics of yeah, the past however exactly. we can. All right. Well, here in East Texas, you know, we are also historically warm and muggy for uh, springtime and um, <laughs> right on cue tonight. Very <laughs> warm and muggy when you step outside. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And again, you step outside, it just kind of hits you. It's air you can wear. Yes. I know we've used that phrase several times yeah. over the last several years, but folks, if you just move to East Texas, get used to that. Let's go ahead and take a look outside. Uh, in Longview, we've got mostly cloudy skies in place right now, and that will continue to be the case throughout the course of the night. Live Viper radar storms to our west. Nothing here in East Texas, nothing that's even close that would remotely resemble a strong thunderstorm. That's not to say we won't see a little bit of drizzle, maybe some light showers overnight tonight, but the threat of severe weather is extremely low for tonight. Dry line out to the west that triggered a few thunderstorms out in West Texas earlier today, and that's part of the reason why they had that slight risk out, but uh, the weather up in Kansas and Nebraska, a little more worrisome with that level three enhanced threat, but here in East Texas, not really anything to be concerned with. We are under a marginal risk for tomorrow, and that goes up to slight in Arkansas and eastern Oklahoma. Marginal risk for portions of the Arklatex for the 2% threat of tornadoes, which pretty much means uh, anywhere within this point that is in the green. Let's take Linden, for example. There's a 2% chance that we see a tornado within 25 miles of Linden, which is a very, very low chance, so I'm not really all that worried about it. 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Morning. Not a lot going on, but as we begin to move towards tomorrow afternoon, that's when we could start to see a few bubble up showers and thunderstorms, but Futurecast not really bringing anything together here. So we might get out uh, with just a few sprinkles, maybe a light shower tomorrow afternoon. Part, part of the reason why is we've talked about the cap here in East Texas. The caps can be very strong tomorrow, so it will be very difficult for those storms to break through. But we're not done. Thursday, we do have another slight risk of severe weather for north central and eastern Oklahoma. It only includes the northern fringes of Hopkins County, so I'm not super concerned with that. Otherwise, expect it to be warm and humid because it is warm and humid. Temperatures are in the 70s. Tonight we fall to 68 degrees, a 30% chance of rain after midnight tonight. Highs pretty warm tomorrow, maybe a degree or two warmer than today or the same. Upper 70s and lower 80s. 30% of us see the rain tomorrow. 81 will be your high temperature near the Tyler Longview vicinity. 86 Wednesday, so a bit warmer on Wednesday. And then we will be tracking another chance of showers and thunderstorms Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Sunday, so quite active, but out of all those rain chances you see on the screen, both for East Texas and deep East Texas, I think the best chance of storms will be the upcoming weekend. So a couple of things to recap, severe weather threats very low, but East Texas weather 